Go ahead. Can you tell us, Sarah, just about Pickney Plains and why, you know, why is AWC looking at, at purchasing Pickney Plains? Well, Pickney is in Cape York Peninsula and the Cape is a really um, interesting area biologically because it's a mix of New Guinea uh, taxa with Australian taxa, so very different evolutionary pathways, but they meet and merge in Cape York. And Piccaninny samples a really good cross-section of that mix. Um, so it's got very high biodiversity value in its own right, but on top of that, it forms a really important connecting function in the broader landscape because it's bordered by a selection of uh, national parks, Aboriginal lands, and to a lesser extent pastoral lands. So there's the opportunity there for some really interesting regional projects. When you say regional projects, that's looking not only on the property, but you're saying working with, with neighbours? Working with neighbours, because a lot of the threatening processes that are affecting Northern Australia are operating at a scale that you can't effectively um, address with just one property. You really need a regional approach. So um, I think increasingly people are looking to try and get into um, consortiums, if you like, of, of neighbouring properties that can tackle things cooperatively. So what are, what are those, some of those threatening processes, those threats? Um, the most important ones are changes in fire patterns, uh, weed encroachment and um, high numbers of feral animals, both feral herbivores and also feral predators. Yeah. Yeah. And with fire, we've seen here uh, a lot of fire work on the properties you already manage. Mm. Is it a simply about is it about stopping fires? No, no. That's uh, it's really important that people realise that fire is uh, an important ecological process in the tropical savannas. So that you're not trying to stop it, but you're trying to uh, modify the way that places burn, the time that they burn, how hot they burn, and so on. So what, what's what's happening now? Is there too little, too much? Um, it varies depending exactly where you are across the north. So in a place like the Kimberley in the northwest, the fires have changed so that they've become a lot larger. So any single fire can cover huge areas. Uh, so you're talking, um, you know, over a million hectares in a single fire is, is definitely not out of out of the question. And they're also more frequent. Um, so in a place like the Kimberley, you're trying to change the fire patterns to reduce the frequency and the scale so that you're uh, ending up with a much patchier vegetation age, essentially. So, what you, so is the fires can be up to millions of hectares. Up to a million hectares, and and more, yeah. yeah. yeah.